Let us understand the CBE practice platform by the ACCA. Now you can access the CBE's practice platform via your My ACCA. So once you log in into My ACCA and you are on My Qualifications, uh, typically this is where you will see the CBE practice platform. Okay. And when you click the CBE practice platform, this is where you're going to get to. Now, this according to me is an extremely important resource because uh, as you'll all know that the ACC exams are completely online, they have a particular environment and it is very important for every candidate to be thoroughly accustomed to writing an online exam and writing ex the exam in that particular environment. So what the ACC has beautifully done is, is that it's given you access to a lot of uh, mock tests, mock exams, past exams exactly in that environment and according to me, uh, writing papers on this platform is really like um, uh, you know, it's it's like a prelim, right? Uh, you cannot enter, enter the exam hall uh, without having done papers from this particular section, right? So the CB practice platform is going to be one of your most handy resources, uh, let's say 10, 15, 20 days to the exam because that's when you're actually going to be practicing the mock exams. Now, let's have a look at what it looks like. So for example, let me take a paper like financial reporting, okay? Now, first things first, there is something called as blank workspaces. So every paper, what they do is, they actually give you these blank resources. Okay, now as you all know that um, the ACCA exams, uh, you know, there are going to be Excel sheets and Word document drop downs in the exam software. But uh, having said that, uh, the uh, all the Excel and all the word features are not available on the uh, exam. So it's, it's, you know, limited features of Excel and word is what they make available. So I'll give you an example. So for example, now let's you go here. Okay. And you say start and there you go, right? You have, for example, a word document. Now you can, you know, when you're actually practicing questions, you know, special, specifically the constructed response questions, you're actually going to come here and practice typing the answers out, right? Uh, similarly, you will also have uh, Excel. So just to give you an example. Yeah, now look at this. This is an Excel. So sometimes questions may have you to crunch on crunch numbers. So that's when you're going to be using an Excel. Sometimes you may actually actually have to describe an answer. So that's when you're going to be using Word. But like I said, the Word in Excel is slightly different, different in the sense it's limited features. So this is your going to be your go-to space where, you know, when you're practicing constructed response questions, you must come here and you must type and you must practice as many questions as you can. The more uh, the practice you do here, the more savvy you're going to be to actually be able to do the final exam. Okay. Now, uh, going back. Now, let us have a look at what mocks are available. Okay. So this is the blank workspaces. Now, if you go to official resources, you have access to a couple of things. You have access to uh, two specific, uh, to, you have access to some specific specimen exams. You have access to practice exams. So these are like full fledged 100 mark papers and they are exactly uh, uh, in the same environment as what your ACC paper is going to look like. And I'll open one and show you in a little while. And you'll also have access to past exam questions. Okay. Now you must note that these past exam libraries, not exactly the same question that came in the exam, because as you all know, in, a in the ACC exams, every student has a different question, but it's going to be similar, you know, a similar style of a question appeared, you know, in that particular attempt or those two attempts. Also, uh, this is basically the constructed response part, which means the multiple choice, which is typically your section A and B in the skills level. Uh, that is not covered over here in the past exam library. Your constructed response questions are covered here. Okay. So uh, if you actually, uh, you know, when you're practicing, when you're studying, you must go through all the past exam library questions. It's going to be very helpful. And, you know, you have these practice exams and specimen exams. Now, ACCA also releases a mock before every attempt. So, for example, you know, uh, let's say a March exam or a June exam, uh, you know, a couple of weeks before the exam, the ACCA will release a mock for that particular attempt. Now, it is a must do. You must, must, must appear for that mock uh, and only then sit for the exam. So, you will have a total of three to four exams to practice. And I think that three to four is a good number of exams to take. Now I'm going to open one exam and show you what the exam software looks like. So once you click here, you've assigned yourself, it'll appear here. So let's say start. Now you'll have certain, certain instructions. 
in the exam you will read these instructions right now as you see there are a detailed instructions the format of the exam is available you should read all of this in detail and then once you click yes you can actually start your exam right you have a navigator so you can navigate questions so exactly this is how acc exams happen okay so that is why i mentioned that it is so so important that you're uh, you know actually uh, going through uh, at least three to four mock exams here before you hit the final exam so that you're very comfortable with the format you exactly know how it looks like you've practiced enough questions you know on the excel and word drop downs you know how to use the calculator the scratch pad you know now i also want to draw your attention that in certain papers you know acc also gives you a list of formula that you can use so for example fm pm tax right so when you click here you will have a list of key formula which you can use okay and you can give reference to they've also given a detailed guidance on you know using the word in excel specif specifically in the constructed response question so please go through this in detail once and of course there are certain exam instructions isko bhi aap bahut detail mein ek baar pad lijiye to aapko pata hoga then you don't need to read it again in the exam and of course you should know what formula is available so you know this is can be very handy so this is there and apart from that i'm sure you will understand how to use the scratch pad to scribble notes of course you have a calculator here but you may also carry a calculator yourselves and there are a couple of other options so you know once you start doing the exams you will be able to familiarize yourself with all these uh, and accordingly appear so i hope that you use the cb practice platform as wisely as you can good luck